Hey everyone, Technometry with the video for you guys. Uh, let's say you recently updated your iPhone to the latest iOS software version and all of a sudden your phone is not working or functioning like it should. You want to follow these steps to quickly fix it and get it back to working again. So the first thing I usually like to do after any software update is force restarting my iPhone. In order to do that, you're going to press and release the volume up, press and release the volume down, and then hold on to the side button just like that. Uh, do not slide to power off like it says on the screen. Just keep on holding that side button just like I am here. We're going to wait for the phone to completely shut down and then again wait for the Apple logo to appear and we'll let go. Again, you might have to do this a few times to get the hang of it. If it doesn't work the first time, you're going to press and release the volume up. Press and release the volume down before holding on to that side button. Again, this method is safe. will not delete any of your personal data, but it's very important thing you need to do when it comes to any software related issue basically shuts down and reloads the code now the second thing you want to check is to make sure that you have enough storage available on your iPhone so whenever you do an update it does take up some storage so in your settings go into general and then iPhone storage and then you want to go ahead and check out that you have enough storage available here it will tell you how much storage you have you have 93 gigs available but let's say this one you're down to maybe one or two gig. I recommend taking a look at which of these things are taking up a lot of space and maybe removing or deleting them. Sometimes long format videos can take up a lot of space. You can also review that and then delete some of those by selecting it and clicking on basically the delete option here and that will delete it. And you should clear up some space and that will also help if your phone isn't working correctly to work it in. Make sure it's fixed. Now, the other thing you also want to do is if there's anything related to network or any other settings that you're finding is not working, you may want to consider in the settings here going to general and then go to transfer reset iPhone. And the first option you're going to click on reset. Things to reset, like if it's a network related issue, so if it's like connectivity, maybe you don't have internet service or phone service, you're going to do a network setting. If the keyboard isn't working correctly, you want to do a keyboard. Uh, dictionary reset if your home screen layout is messed up for some reason you're going to do home screen layout reset and if you're having issues with maybe your GPS location or maybe any privacy settings or you can't send location save location you want to do this now if you simply don't know what the issue is and it's multiple things you can just simply do a reset of all the settings and again, this is just resetting the settings themselves. It will not delete anything on your iPhone. Everything will be still on your phone, but the settings themselves will be reset so that if it's a setting that messed up with the new update, it will fix it for you. So that's all the tip I have to fix iPhone that's not working after update. I hope your phone is working now. If so, please consider a like and subscribe button. Also, if you found a better way to fix the issue, leave it in the comment section to share with everyone. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.